All right, everybody, welcome back to Digital Marketers Social Media Certification. My name is Russ Henneberry, and I am Director of Editorial at Digital Marketer, and we are on to lesson five, social selling. Now, remember, this is the stage that everybody wants to get to. They want to generate leads and sales from social media, and it absolutely is possible. We're going to be covering that in this section on social selling. So let's jump into the social success cycle again here and take a look at the upper left hand quadrant to remind ourselves what we're talking about when it comes to social selling. And that is uh, generating leads and sales from existing customers. So these are people that have already bought from you and generating new prospects and new customers from the web through lead generation and initial customer acquisition. So that's really what we're talking about in this section on social selling. So the big question everybody always asks, is, how do you sell on social media channels? And the answer is you don't, all right? You don't sell on social channels, at least not directly, okay? There's not direct sales on social channels. Instead, what you need to be coming to social media with as a plan of attack is a value first strategy. All right. So what do we mean by that? Well, obviously the, the, the ultimate goal here is to move people from uh, channels that you do not own to channels that you do own. All right. So the big thing to keep in mind here when you're working with your, with your social media plan, when it comes to social selling is that you are really looking to take people out of these, you know, sort of Uber sites where everybody's hanging out like Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, YouTube, and move them into an owned, you know, channel like email. All right, and that's really still the holy grail here in terms of if you want to be selling is to get that email address, all right? So to move people from, you know, just engaging with you on these channels um, and then move them out and onto your email list. And that's gonna be a lot of what we're gonna be talking about today in the social selling uh, section. So the, the first rule of, of the value first strategy is that we want to lead with content. All right. So we lead with content. Now, the reason that we lead with content is because it is the native uh, type of uh, communication in these social channels is content. All right. Everybody wants content, things that are valuable either because they entertain us or they inspire us or they educate us. All right, so we want to be communicating with people with content and we want to lead with that content. So take a look at an example here for one of our uh, web properties here called DIY Ready, where you have, um, we're on Pinterest here and we put out a pin here for um, a project called the Under an Hour Floor Pillow. All right, so uh, this is a pin on a social channel where there are literally millions of people hanging out, consuming content. So we, we do the native thing to that platform, which is to lead with content. So we're going to drive people out of this pin and onto a blog post called uh, DIY home decor in under an hour. All right. And that's, this is just one of the, the different, um, types of, uh, uh, projects that are that is in this actual piece of content all right and then rule number two is that we want to embed offers in that content so as you can see here we have a number of examples where uh, different properties of ours this is survival life this is a, a, a content heavy publication in the survival and prepper market uh, we have DIY ready which we just talked about before which is really in the DIY uh, sort of home improvement space. Um, and then we have, of course, digitalmarketer.com, which is also our property. But we do this with all of our, all of our properties. We take content and we embed offers in it. All right, so we'll take uh, something like this paracord bracelet offer and we'll embed it in a, in a blog post about uh, paracord projects for preppers. So it's a very relevant offer to be making to somebody reading a post about uh, paracord is to make them um, an offer for a, a paracord bracelet. You know, same here where, you know, you can see the content is very much about jewelry and bracelets and stuff like that. And so we make the uh, 
free beaded, uh, beaded bracelet kit offer. Um, over here on Digital Marketer, you know, we've got a, a piece of content about a, a Facebook advertising. And so we are making offers in multiple places that are relevant to that piece of content. So rule number one is to lead with content. And rule number two is to embed offers in that content. The problem is that most people are not going to find you on social media, click on your content. So um, as we talked about here, find you on social media like Pinterest here, click on your content, come over and then convert. Okay, that's, you know, you're not gonna see tremendous conversion rates from content straight into offers. Uh, you know, we'll see anywhere from like two to 10% of people that are reading a blog post will actually convert on an embedded offer like this. So what do we do with the people that consume our content, but they don't actually ever convert? And the answer is that we use the content to segment them and then we retarget with a relevant ad. So you've seen this slide before, except I did make one change to this slide and that is to actually add in the bottom left here, I added an actual tweet. Okay, so this is an actual tweet on our Twitter feed just to give you an example of how this might originate. Um, but let's go back through this because retargeting is so critical to the social selling uh, part of this. So you can see in the bottom left here, we've got a tweet that says, Hey, we grew a blog from zero to six million like this. And then we drop a link. Okay. Now, if you click on that link, you're doing a couple things. The first thing is that you are raising your hand and you are saying, I am interested in blogging. Okay. I am, a, I am an I am interested in the, the subject of blogging. All right. And then the second thing you're doing is you're going to send yourself over to this blog post and you're going to receive a cookie or a pixel. All right, now that pixel is going to be dropped on your machine and is going to indicate that you're interested in blogging. Now, a smart marketer is going to do something with that information, and that is that they are going to retarget you on the appropriate networks, whether it's Facebook or Google or YouTube or wherever. They're going to target, retarget you with the appropriate offer. So, in this case, Again, we go back to this, this offer that is congruent with the interest that we know they have, uh, which is blogging. And we ask them, hey, do you have writer's block? Boost your content with these 212 blog post ideas uh, applicable to any niche, all right? And then if you remember right, when they click on this ad, they are taken over to what we would call a uh, opt-in page where if they click on this download now button, and they put their email address in, we've now generated a lead. All right, so let's just review that section where you know we start out, we lead with content, something like a blog post, okay? And we put that out there and segment people that click on it based on the, the interest. Uh, so somebody clicking on that is indicating interest, but we also are going to try to embed offers and get people to convert straight from the content. Those that don't, we're going to be looking to retarget them uh, in networks like Facebook, uh, Google, YouTube, you know, on Google's display network, in, in elsewhere where we can where we can retarget. But the last thing that I wanted to cover in, in this, just this introductory video is that you can also lead with what we call a lead magnet. All right. So a lead magnet is some chunk of value. All right. That you give to somebody in exchange for their contact information. Now, in this case, we have a lead magnet called the ultimate list of blog post ideas. And, you know, we're asking them to, download this. If they're interested in blogging, this is something that somebody would be very interested in having, which is 212 different blog post ideas. Now we can go out into social channels and we can lead with a lead magnet where um, they are going to have to give us their, their contact information in order to get the resource because it is still a value first strategy. All right. That leading with a lead magnet is still a, a value first strategy. So you can see here on YouTube where, um, you know, we've actually created a series of videos. We've created a series of videos about a lot of different 
things. And at the end, we're going to ask them to click on this call to action in the video and go directly over and convert into a lead magnet. So in other words, we take the middle step out, which is the content, uh, the free ungated content on the blog, and we go straight to a lead magnet. Now later on in this certification, we're going to take a deep dive on how to create a lead magnet, what are good lead magnets um, as we get into um, more tactical information about social selling. Uh, but in the next video, we're going to actually be jumping into the goals that we're looking to accomplish with social selling. We'll see you there.